here in Chicago, took a 307 bus, 302 bus, 322 bus. I didn't even bother getting even a bike, because every time I took my bike out, somebody, even if I had a chain, somebody would stole my bike. So I grew up, I said, oh, I'm gonna be a Marine, I'm gonna get out the Marine Corps. Finally got my first car after the uh, Desert Storm. Got my first car, it was a 1989 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Remember those cars? That was my first car. Anyway, make a long story short, I've always looked at magazines and said, you know what, I want to build that magazine lifestyle. I deserve this, don't I? I started saying, you know, I do. I started asking myself the tough questions. I said, you know what, I need to find a vehicle to get me or what I want out of my life. Why are these people living a magazine lifestyle and I'm not? So I decided to make a change. Maybe you're watching this right now, you deserve an upgrade in your life. If you are going to buy a car, you're going to buy a house, why not have it be the best? Well, anyway, make a long story short, we've started challenging ourselves that. And the people around me started asking themselves them tough questions too as well. And what we have here right now is a bunch of entrepreneurs building their business collectively here in the Chicagoland area, right here in Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, representing PHP Agency and the Money Smart Woman to, hey, hey, you guys happy about your new cars? Yeah. <laughs> so these guys also didn't have a car grown. These guys maybe had a uh, Toyota Tercel, maybe had a Ford Focus, a Toyota, Toyota Prius, something like that. Or just like myself, had nothing more than a bus and a bus pass. So today, I'm excited to announce big reveal of a brand new car, something I've never had. I've never had an exotic car before. The, I think the best thing I've ever had was a, was a Cadillac Escalade. I've never had a Ferrari, never had a Porsche. And I'm excited about today to have my official Suzuki. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, you guys ready for the big reveal? Yeah! All right, if you guys want to uh, do me a favor, back up real quick, take five steps back. So that being said, you can go. Here's a big reveal. This is what I got. So it's just not me, my wife, having their dreams come true too as well. We got a row of cars here, people that have upgraded their cars, upgraded their lifestyles. So let's just take a peek, who's upgraded the cars? I'm Yolanda, my former car vehicle used to be a Volvo before I upgraded to a Mercedes CLA 250 class. And my goal for the year is to upgrade to the Bentley. Bo, love it, good job. Uh, my name is Andrea Sharice, uh, come from property management. Uh, before I had this beautiful uh, GLA 250 Mercedes Benz, I was driving a Chevy Impala. Nothing wrong with that, but due to entrepreneurship, I'm riding in style. Love it. Excellent, good job. Love it. Melissa, single mom, making it happen. My name is Melissa Lopez. This is my son, Marcus Lucy. Uh, my previous career was in fitness management, and I had a Volkswagen TC and just upgraded to a Mercedes Benz. Yo! I love it. See, that's it. Hi, my name is Kiana Hughes with my significant other, Joshua Henry. Um, former career is a background in media relations and marketing for over eight years. Um, former car was a 2007 Pontiac G6 that I had for 12 years, and I upgraded to the Mercedes CLA 250. Call their not. I love it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hi, my name is Nara Lopez. My former career was an Audi manager. The previous car that I owned before here was an Acura TL, and now I upgrade to a Mercedes C Class AMG. <laughs> but you know, you know, you know, what AMG stands for, right? AMG, because when you drive it, you're saying, "Oh my God!" <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro. Oh. So my name is Maurice Hansberry. Uh, former career, I was recently a baggage handler at Southwest Airlines. Literally, so if you flew Southwest, I was loading your bags on the bottom of your plane, nice and stacked nicely, right? My previous car, I didn't even have a car a year and a half ago. Guys, and before that, I had a Toyota Highlander. But you can study this business, now we currently drive an Audi R8 4.2 large. <laughs> <laughs> 
right? Because it's business. Why? Because we helping families, taking people to the community. Because of this guy right here, Master Father, she is part of the the industry, talks to business. And I'm just loving it, man. This is the beginning. Just the beginning, man. I appreciate everything you guys have done for us and is going to continue to do for us. We're going to create legacies in this industry in one way or the other, baby. This is just a part of it. I love it. Woo! I love it. Good job. All right, cool. Oh. Uh, you guys didn't know that uh, we actually have on board Albie Shore. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm, I'm Ellis Swazo. I come from an engineering background. Uh, the car I used to drive was a Dodge Charger. As my, my mentor, she used to call it, called it, she used to call it the cool kid car. And so you need to upgrade and get you a grown up car. So I did just that. And I bought me a new Range Rover here. And uh, very excited because of this opportunity, this industry growing a business. And because of my leaders and the incredible opportunity that Patrick and David gave to us, I'm excited to say this is just the beginning. I love it. I love it. Good job, man. Oh. Hi, I'm Nashua McCain. Come from a um, the corporate background. This is my husband, Jamal. Corporate background, UPS. <laughs> Army veteran too. Yep. Yes, Army veteran, military um, family. Our previous car was a Cadillac Coupe. We love the Cadillac. Um, car dealership, so we decided to upgrade into a platinum. Escalade. Yeah. Escalade. <laughs> I love it. I just love it when women describe the cars. <laughs> and the guys have to give the detail. <laughs> I love it. Fair fight, you guys, man. Yes. Booyah. So, go ahead, go first. Um, Jennifer Lopez from the Noble Network. Uh, so, I'm Jonah Rodriguez. I'm a psych major. Yep, so I, uh, I used to do like counseling and ministry work, stuff like that. Former car is a Hyundai Elantra GT. GT. Matt knows because he used to pump me on the And uh, couldn't get approved for a Toyota lawn. And now, now we're driving a, a Lexus IS 200T Turbo with some bloody seats. It looks nice, nice. And some Galaxy lights in the, in the, in the front ceiling. So. I love it. A lot, lot different car to have call, uh, phone, call, uh, phone calls and, uh, oh, yeah. and all that, right? Yeah. See, this is the car you pull up in front of the appointment, too. <laughs> <laughs> not down the street. Yeah, not down the street. You're proud of this one. Done. So, I love it. <laughs> Changes the game. Absolutely, man. It's a blessing. Proud, proud of you guys. Proud of you guys. Humble Park, too, as well. Humble Park. All right. Jasmine Swazo here, former career uh, director of development and communications for a nonprofit. And prior to uh, my new car, I was driving a 2011 Volkswagen CC. Uh, I've now upgraded to black on black Range Rover. I call her Black Panther. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, he has a tuxedo, and I have the black on black. I love it, tuxedo. They got one got white, one got black. So one 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 means boss, the other one means money. <laughs> so we trade. <laughs> I love it. Good job, yes. Woo! Here we go. All right. You didn't know we are we we have the uh, the main characters from Empire. Uh, in, 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 uh, in, in the Mike Smart movie team, so they're right here. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, my name is Anna Landor. My former car was nothing like this. It was a Chevy Aveo, small little blue car, right? Um, I come from hospitality, and today I drive a Porsche Cayenne. Uh, Victor Landor, uh, former background, Hoop Dreams, as well as uh, early early childhood education. Uh, former car before this was a Chevy Dale. And uh, my first ever car was a Ford Bronco. Now this is a Porsche, AKA Cardi P. Her name is Cardi P. <laughs> uh, next, uh, next upgrade, just wait on it. <laughs> it's coming. So, good job, man. Look at you. Yeah. Thank you <laughs> All right. So this is not a fluke. Yes, we do have a Jennifer Lopez and a My Smart Woman team. And also we also have a George Lopez. Uh, name is George Lopez, like you mentioned. Former background is retail management. I was at for like seven years. Old car was a Chevy Cruze, and now we have AKA Blanca Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Myra. Uh, for, before PHP, I was in retail management, did HR, assistant store manager, and let me tell you, overworked, underpaid, and I was driving a Malibu, Chevy Malibu. So now with PHP, has allowed us to upgrade our lifestyle, but also upgrade the car we drive. My good job, man. Proud of you guys. Uh, Matt Zapala, United States Marine Corps. I got to go back to what my former car was. I had a two. I had a, a, a Chevy, a Chevy Tahoe, tricked out. I had a uh, uh, Chrysler 300, tricked out. 
Uh, we just upgraded from a couple years ago from a, a Cadillac Escalade, a couple Cadillac Escalades to a Mercedes Mille Miglia. It is our first exotic exotic. We had a luxury car, now we have an exotic. So, how many guys watching this video right now would love to say, man, I would love to have the type of lifestyle, lifestyle that you guys are living, upgrading at least your car. You may not be upgrading your house yet or for that point, uh, upgrading a lot of other things in your life, but you just like to say, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of taking the bus like I was, or you want to have some freedom and control and you want a new car. Well, the way I discovered that is to start thinking differently. You know, there's four major ways to make money in our country. Our CEO interviewed just a couple weeks ago, Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote a book that absolutely changed my life called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, last year, he came out with a book called uh, Fake, fake, uh, fake News, Fake Assets, Fake Teachers, Fake Money. And then he also wrote a book called Why the Rich Keep Getting Richer. I said, how come I can't get richer? I'm getting broker as the years go on. So until I started thinking differently, and I started asking myself deeper questions about how are people winning the money game, my life didn't change. So if you're watching this video, I said, you know what, I wanna live a life like these guys. And we have an office filled here in Oak Brook. People right now, I mean, I mean look around, look at all, look, look at all the, uh, the folks here, looking at how to make money and, and, and uh, get ahead financially with money. So it's just not me. I know there's somebody out there right now watching this video. I said, you know what? What are, what are these guys doing? Are these are, are rich people jerks? Uh, uh, more money, more problems? No, more money, better problems. And so I want you guys to rethink the way you are asked about money and, and how to make money. The biggest challenge I had coming up was family and friends. Listen, I was the first person in my circle of friends and family made $100,000 a year. I started asking myself different, different questions. I started asking people around me different questions. It was actually offending them. Uh, I, I want to make a half million dollars a year, a million dollars a year. People are like, are you kidding me, man? People uh, do, do that type of stuff are sharks, people you can't trust, and athletes and drug dealers, and you're neither one of them. So just get, get a regular job just like the rest of us. I said, you know what? I refuse to think that way. Don't pull me back down to the level you feel me comfortable at. I want to raise myself to a level I, I'm, I'm comfortable at. And I started saying, you know what? I, I need to stop caring about what other people think. I want, I want to go after my, uh, my goals. So today, listen, I, I, may, I may have... Uh, 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 achieve this goal late in my life and if I started thinking differently and started asking myself questions earlier in my life I'd probably achieve a lot of this stuff sooner in my life and so if you're watching this right now I just want to let you know you're only a couple decisions away a couple conversations away a couple moves away from starting to unlock the money secrets in your life and if you by the way this car here my, my net payment on this car it's the same payment as a Honda Accord <laughs> right my net payment the keys <laughs> first time I've ever had a Rolls Royce key okay now, now, now see, not, man, if you go to the valet, the guys, they're not valeting this around the other side of the restaurant. They're leaving this car in front of the restaurant, right? Uh, th this type of car, when you have a different conversation from a marketing perspective, not from a selfish gain perspective, I'm, this is the main purpose of this is, is marketing for me. And for some of you, you may have your own selfish desire, whatever goal it is that you want. But I, want, I wanted to, uh, to do it for, for a marketing purpose. Because uh, a different conversation, uh, as, as sad as it may sound, as sad as it may say, don't judge a book by its cover. The sad reality is what? People do. And if people are going to do that, hey, if people are going to judge a book by its cover, well, you might as well make it a very nice cover. Uh. And uh, you want to make sure that uh, it's a payment equivalent to like a Honda Accord. But uh, I want you guys to live out the life that you want to live. Live your best life. Living your best life doesn't mean it's an easy life because you're probably going to go against the grain of what you were raised to believe about money. And think about it, think about it real quick. The thing that most people use in the entire world, that everybody puts their hands on, is what? money but yet it's a subject they don't talk about in schools why and then when you when you're thinking differently and you, you want you want you want more out of your life you demand more out of your life people think you're people think you're weird you're crazy no you're on the right track I want you to think it's okay I want you to hear from me it's okay to start thinking differently and everybody you grew up around if you start doing that a whole nother universe opens up to you just like it did for me and me and my business partners here so that being said if you've been watching this on YouTube make sure you click subscribe and you're alert to be alerted next time we upload our next episode. And if you've been thinking about you getting yourself an exotic or you getting yourself a fancy car, whatever case may be, drop it in the comment section below. I want to know what your goals are. Start expressing it. I want to, I want to support you. I want to encourage you. I want to let you know that you're breakthrough, man. If you make those type of tough decisions, tough questions you ask yourself, if you do those type of things, your breakthrough is right around the corner. So that being said, on behalf of the Money Smart Woman team here at PHP Agency and the Seven Figure Squad channel, till we meet again. Continue to smart, continue to smart, and be money smart today. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man.